What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE top 20 transitions from NXT to the main roster. Now, there have been some good, I guess you can say, transitions from people being in NXT to them debuting on the main roster. But a lot of times, especially during events with Man Era, even though their transition would probably be good, it's the follow through eventually they would end up falling down the car that wouldn't be utilized like you would think they would be utilized and it would be one of those frustrating things where it's like do you really want anyone to get promoted to the main roster just for them to be used incorrectly it became sort of a thing like how fast can vince mcmahon ruin a character you remember when uh carrion cross first debuted to the main roster I believe he ended up losing to uh uh matt oh uh, no jeff hardy at the time and then they changed his outfit to like some sex slave dungeon master it was just a whole bunch of cringe they just ruined him quick quickly like vince just i don't know what the hell that was so we're gonna check out some of these moments man uh appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k let's do the damn thing man and you dig it, sucker! Damn. Before she was the man. Bread for this business. Charlotte. Your boy. Yeah. Sasha Banks. I can't believe this. This is when they, the women's revolution was definitely starting to, I guess you could say, take form. Because it was already taking form in NXT. But then this is when things really started taking form. When they bought these ladies in. And he ran the NXT. Here we go. The NXT champ will end up with the Divas champ. And I told you guys I didn't know what was next for Seth Rollins. I want to talk to you about what's going down in Manchester. See? So what I want to do is issue an open challenge. Of the best that NXT mm. has to offer. And there is the ring general himself. Here we are. Doesn't mean you're safe from an NXT takeover. He got him. He got him. Man. He got him. Hey, I will say this, Walter Gunther. He's actually doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. Even during the Vince McMahon era, towards the end, they, they're utilizing him, for the most part, in my opinion, correctly. He's doing the Intercontinental Championship right. So I'm glad they're doing right by him, for sure. Jimmy. Oh. Yep. That's Carl Anderson. Anderson and Gallows are here. Oh my goodness. And if I was them, I want to make an impact out of That was a that pretty cool moment. Beat people up. Beat the crap out of them. Two guys are so good at. Tonight, we are issuing <laughs> Look at their fits, open bro. challenge. Yes. Listen yes. to this. Listen to that. That. Uh. Oh, that. That pop, bro. Bro, Vince definitely dropped the ball with them. I'm glad they're doing much better in AEW, in my opinion. Uh, people are, you know, they're getting more notarized, as they should be. But I really wish they were in WWE still. Because I know Triple H would do right by them. He did right by them in NXT. I know for a fact. Oh, the Revival versus the Usos. Oh, my. God, now the Usos, how they are now. Um, or Revival versus um the Street Profits. Um, come on, bro. Two time NXT tag teams. This is top guy business. Oh. Yes. Uh oh, 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 hey, hey. And compared to a wild boar by many courts. Oh. And look at this oh. shatter machine. The Revival. Victoria. And as your SmackDown Women's Champion, I would like to. They're here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fans loved them. Oh, a little bit. Oh, oh! And the Queen Charlotte Flair not waiting for a walk to the Rocky statue. And I'll spit right in his face. <laughs> I know he wants to come back to WWE. Good. And here's Almas now. 
He wants to go back to the, uh, to the WWE now. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Axel Mania. It took 29 men. The road to Axe Stream rules. Oh my now. God. Damn, man. Neville, the former NXT champion, he, he held that championship. Hold on, watch this. That's wow. crazy. I think I, I actually like the way he is in uh, AEW. I like his his gimmick in AEW more aggressive and more intimidating, brutal. The high flying Lucha Dragons. Whoa! Whoa! Tag team champions. You can see NXT every Wednesday. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. You hear the crowd the loving their re uh, reception there. Side of the fatal floor whack. Contrast of styles. You think? The big tough physical Cesaro. Oh, well, it's and he's got Cesaro on balance oh. now. There he goes. <laughs> oh, damn, baby. Oh, AOP. Oh, AOP, man. Oh, my God. I believe uh, injury is what kind of slowed them down. The best diva in the world. Oh, Paige's debut. Another star from NXT. She's from Norway. Yeah, it was Paige's debut. I think we need to have a match right now. I will put my title on. And the this line. is when she lost, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, AJ Lee had lost that. Lost that match. Ah. Oh. Oh man, he was so. I loved his entrance. They dropped the ball with him too. I believe he just had surgery. Wishing them a speedy recovery, bro. But yo, it it was just it was it worked. It's the Ric Flair vibes worked. <laughs> People loved it. People loved it. He was basically like he he was pretty much channeling his inner Ric Flair. It was great, and it worked. It didn't come off cringe and hokey. Bobby Roode lighting up the chest here. Everything that I touch and everything that I do is big box office. To create something more for everybody here, where quite honestly, I am trying to create the next Seth friggin' Rollins. Seth is oh, Samoa Joe, yep. Yeah. champion Samoa Joe is on Monday Night Raw. This was good, bro. This was so good. But he ended up getting injured from this segment, too. This is so good. I'm good. They, Enzo and, and Cash, I'm going to be honest with you. That was probably the most over tag team we had seen. I'm going to be honest with you. In my personal opinion, you can agree with me or disagree with me. I hadn't seen a tag team that over. That got a reaction like that on a consistent basis, other than like maybe the Hardys. Yeah, Dudleys would get a reaction like that too. But I think the Hardys consistently would get reactions like that. They were a tag team. Look, look at this. And this is was, bro, their catchphrase was gold. They had it. They had it, bro. Oh my God. And he's seven foot tall. Boom. Real Real guys in the room. room. How, How you doing, doing, bro? They were so over, bro. They were so <laughs> over, bro. John Cena US Open Challenge. Kevin Owens. This was a good morning too, right here. Who's it gonna be? Oh no, this wasn't Kevin Owens. I was thinking of uh, Kevin Owens when he Kevin Owens did come out there. I don't know if they're going to show that. They should. Because that was a good moment when Kevin Owens came out there and fucking. A hometown boy. Sami Zayn. Montreal, Canada. NXT's hottest 
This was a good one too. This was a good one, but I hope they show the Kevin Owens one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's explain to you in case you don't know why I see him. Kane, Kane. Who's this? These, these are the rookies from, from the first season of NXT. Yep. John Cena in the yep, this was a cool moment. I ain't gonna They beat the brakes out of John. This was cool. This was such a cool moment. This is such a good moment, bro. They just tore up ringside. This is so cool, bro. It was chaos. I didn't know what the fuck I was watching. This got to be Kevin Owens. Yes! Love it! Kevin Owens. Like I've said before in past videos, this was my very first time being introduced to Kevin Owens because I wouldn't watch an NXT at the time. This was my very first time, and I was like, oh, I'm, I like this guy. And then I started checking out NXT more. But I was like, bro, this was my very first time knowing who he was. Didn't know him as Kevin Steen. Didn't know he was in the independent scene. Nothing like that. And I was like, I like this guy. I want to see this guy somewhere in the WWE. He needs to be holding the championship. He, he I love him. <laughs> I was already a fan as soon as I saw this with John Cena. Champion. That is the last. Owens. You're going to realize. Who? Huh? Oh. So good. We're here. This was cool too. Oh my God. Oh my God. They beat the Look hell the out of Kane, bro. Kane. They beat the brakes out of this. <laughs> and then we kept calling him Husky Harris. <laughs> this was such a good moment too. Listen to that reaction, bro. Listen to that, man. Ah. Comes from NXT. Finn Balor. This was a good, good acquisition at the time, too. Ah oh, man, NXT had some, some greats, bro. He became a world champion just for the opportunity to step foot in the ring. What is this? The shield makes sense they're the number one. It, ain't, it makes sense they're number one. It's, it makes sense they're number one, bro. They were on a tear, bro. Oh my God, they were on a tear. The Shield, definitely, it makes sense they were number one. One of the greatest groups, one of the greatest factions to ever be in WWE and to ever come out of NXT, bro. Fantastic, man. This was a great video. Took me down memory lane, man. Comment down below, let me know what was your favorite debut from the NXT roster. One of my favorites uh, is, is definitely Enzo Amore and uh, Big Cass. Another one which I was telling y'all about. It's the Kevin Owens one. That one made me a fan of Kevin Owens. So that, that one's definitely up there. And the Shield, for sure, because I didn't know what that was going on. Hell, even the Nexus one, I thought that was crazy. I watched that live. I remember I was like, what the fuck? Just, who the fuck are they? Well, what's happening? They just tore up the ring. They really dropped the ball with the Nexus. They, they dropped the ball with them completely. But yeah. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with BC on. Next one. Peace.